What's up, y'all? My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas, and today we are taking a look at this 2022 Keystone Outback 328 RL. Disregard that 340BH on the side because it was mislabeled, but I am very excited to look at this Outback because I believe Outback has the best looking interior option for 2022 models that I've seen so far, and they absolutely blew it out of the park with how they did the interior design on here. So I'm really excited to look at that. Plus, this is a very high-end, luxurious, couple-style travel trailer with a whole lot of space in it. You could even live in it full-time. Comes with things like seven-point auto leveling and all kinds of really high-end features. So it is a very high-end travel trailer. I'm very excited to take a look at. So let's get into it. Welcome back to another video, y'all. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you get something out of this video, you like the presentation, you like me and the way that I show these RVs, consider hitting that like button and definitely the subscribe button down below and become a part of this growing community of RVers all around the world. If you want to connect with me on other social media sites like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, my links to all that stuff is down below in the description. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, I would love to help you out in making this RV yours or helping you find your next RV if maybe this isn't exactly what you're looking for. And I can assist you in that process. So my contact information will be on the screen here, will be in the description below and at the end of the video where you can contact me and I would love to help you out in helping you find your next RV. I am so excited to get into the inside of this RV that I'm gonna get through the outside as quickly as I can, but got the specs up here on the screen for you. The sticker inside the door has this particular unit we're looking at here at 37 feet, nine inches and 8,800 pounds exactly as it's sitting here. So, and as we look around the outside, you're gonna see you have two awnings out here. So you have an awning on the slide out and an awning here. So basically you will get a full awning coverage or about, you know, almost, seven eighths of the rv basically is going to be awning coverage out here so you get this whole entire area covered with your awning you're going to have some upgraded things on the outback such as like this here you have the 30 pound propane bottles instead of 20 pound propane bottles that you'll see on a lot of other travel trailers like if you look at our bullet premiere which even that is a considered a high-end travel trailer comes with 20 pound propane bottles so you're gonna have 30 gallon propane bottles here and then you have this bal 7.3 auto leveling system so this here when you have this powered on which it does look like we have the screen on because we do have a 200 watt solar panel on this unit that is now coming standard on all keystone trailers you can see that you have these controls here for your auto leveling system so it will automatically level including using the tongue jack as part of that leveling system there so a really intricate leveling system that the outback will come with and that is going to be on their high end models so with outback we talked about this before when we looked at this 291 ubh here they have two different lines this 291 ubh or any model that starts with a u and it is going to be an ultralight trailer so that is their more weight friendly unit whereas this 328 rl you can see it has a little bit bigger profile to it than the 291 ubh so I go back and forth between those. So this is gonna be more of a full feature model. They weigh a bit, they weigh a bit more <coughs> than the ultralights, excuse me, and are just going to have a little bit bigger profile to them than the ultralight Outbacks. So another big thing they changed this year is you have a tankless water heater. So all Outbacks for 2022 are coming with a tankless water heater. This is the first Keystone product that is going to come with a tankless water heater in a travel trailer. So very excited to see that. That is definitely a big deal that we'll have there on the Outback and something that a lot of people before I even knew about it, as far as customers coming in, were telling me that they were excited about because they already knew that that was coming. And that's been a big deal that they've been talking about with this Outback product is having that tankless water heater. So you will have that now and that is going to give you on-demand hot water all the time, which is pretty important in these Outback trailers that a lot of people live in full time. So you'll have that now, which is pretty dang sweet. This is gonna be your bedroom slide. So you do have a bed here in this slide out. And then you're gonna have all your storage underneath the bed here. And then this is storage that is not accessible from inside the trailer. Um, so you'll have a different storage compartment underneath the bed that is accessible. And we'll look at that when we go inside. Get that closed up. Oh, there we go. And then 
Looking at your slide out mechanisms, it does have cable slide outs on all the slide outs on this Outback. So with the cable slide outs, you basically have these cables here and these here, um, have them on all four corners there. And they will be pulling the slide out in evenly each time. That is the advantage to the cable slide is you're getting equal pressure pulling and pushing from each corner evenly as you move your slide out, which helps it move in more uniformly and prevent any damage from happening as you move that slide out in and out. On this side over here, you're gonna have your different dump stations. So you'll have uh, two gray tanks here. This is gonna be both your kitchen and, or sorry, this is gonna be, I'm trying to figure out where these gray tanks may be coming from. It looks like you have a gray tank. This for sure should be the gray tank from the bathroom, I would assume, black tank from the bathroom, and then another gray tank. That might be like a shower gray tank right there. Maybe the sink and the shower have inde independent gray tanks. And then you have another gray tank here, which would be your kitchen gray tank. So you'll have those two different dump spots right next to each other. So it's nice and easy when you are dumping your tanks there. And then we can take a look underneath while we're here as well. You can see it's all fully enclosed under here, fully enclosed underbelly. Even things like your areas under here have that foam there to help block off any air or gaps in that area so that you have that all sealed off, but it's all gonna be a completely enclosed underbelly underneath here. And all of your components underneath there, your water tanks, your water lines, all that stuff will be enclosed in there and have heat fed to them so that they don't freeze when you have the furnace running. You have another storage compartment here, which this one we won't be able to open up all the way, but this is gonna be behind your TV. So you'll have all this storage and that's gonna go all the way up to the top of the slide out box. So very tall storage in there. It's somewhat shallow. It's probably about eight to 10 inches deep. Um, so it's a little shallow, but it is a big compartment there that you can store a lot of different things. Right here, you're gonna have, this is gonna be like an outdoor shower. Let me see if I, dang, I don't have my keys on me. I messed up and I didn't bring my keys with me. Wish I could see in there. Cause this should just be an outdoor shower compartment in there. I can almost see. Okay, actually, no, that's gonna be your city and freshwater connections. That's what I wanted to make sure because it said docking station and I didn't think they had the docking station back here, but they do. So your fresh and city water connections are going to be right in there. You do have these flaps to open up so you can keep this door closed and have your hoses running into there. But your fresh and city water connections will be inside that docking station area right in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Coming along to the back side, it will be prepped for a backup camera, and then it will have a spot where you can get a fully walkable roof, um, or a fully walkable, has a fully walkable roof, and you can get a ladder on here. So it is prepped for the ladder if you do wanna put a ladder on the back on here. You have the bumper back here. It does have these openings here. So if you do wanna put sewer hoses in these compartments there, real easy to take on and off, and you can use that for storage your power connection for the 50 amp power supply will be right back here as well so real close to usually wherever your power plug is going to be at your campsites and coming to this side again you have your slide out here so this has three slide outs in total and you're going to have opposing slide outs in the living room they're two larger size opposing slide outs so you're gonna have a ton of space in there big island kitchen and it looks really really nice you're going to have outdoor speakers. Both of your awnings are gonna have a little bit different style of light. They actually have a light right here, which I kind of think is pretty cool. I like that you still get access to it with the awnings pushed in. And when you have the awnings pushed out, it's gonna be kind of shining back towards your RV. So it makes it look really nice when you have those lights shining back towards the RV. And then I believe that's just about everything. You have the upgraded solid step here it's a lippert step and the lippert step is giving you this super big oversized top step there which i really like and if you did want to put a tv out here you do have hookups for a tv so satellite and and uh antenna hookups there and then your power supply there as well your storage compartment here does have a sliding tray now the reason this compartment looks like this because this is different than a lot of other travel trailers is because you have an east to west facing bed in the bedroom and a lot of times when you have that in a travel trailer it's not a complete pass through storage and they also have washer dryer hookups in there so you can see they have to have the plumbing lines 
run through here and now that I'm looking at this that might be what one of those gray tanks is for as well is the washer dryer that we looked at the gray tank valves that we were looking at on the other side it might be for the washer dryer for one of those so washer dryer hookups that's pretty much everything take one last quick look around make sure I didn't miss anything should be just about it yeah two ACs on the top they're both gonna be the Coleman mock ACs so very quiet the Coleman mock ACs are about 12 decibels quieter than your standard AC system and then if we can zoom in here you have your digital antenna right there that's going to be your Weingart 360 digital antenna and then you have the 200 watt solar panel there as well that does have a solar charge controller that is in the pass-through storage that will be keeping your battery charged making sure you maintain a charge on that and you can always monitor the levels of the charge of your battery and how much power is being supplied to it and all kinds of cool stuff like that nice docking lights on here as well you have an led light strip that runs along the top right there and one that runs down underneath here so you have that as well it's kind of neat when we go inside i don't have a battery hooked up to this rv but because of the solar panel we're still gonna be able to turn on the lights because it is nice and sunny bright and warm out here in texas even though it is december 1st so can't complain about that at all but let's get on the inside and see what the inside of this thing looks like as we head inside, one quick thing to point out is we are a Priority RV Network dealer here at Holiday World. There's a lot of benefits to being a Holiday World customer, one of them being our Priority RV Network and becoming a member of that when you purchase from us for free. Basically what that is, is if you look at this map here, these are gonna be different locations all across the United States that we are partnered with as a part of this program where if you are traveling and you're ever more than 100 miles away from your home, any one of these dealerships will get you in the front of the line at their service departments if you have any sort of issue that is preventing you from being able to use your RV. So if you're traveling somewhere and your refrigerator stops working, you have a water leak, um, your AC goes out, your furnace isn't working, water heater isn't working, anything like that, these are going to be dealerships that you can go to where they will get you in the front of the line and do everything in their power to get you back on your trip as quickly as possible. And it's something that you can only become a member of if you purchase from a dealership that is a part of this network. So that is something that is a huge benefit we have here for our customers at Holiday World. And something else I forget to point out a lot because we're not in it right now, but we actually have a campground on our facilities here as well. So if you're an out of state customer or even a local customer and you just wanna stay in your RV a couple days here on our property before you take it home, you can do that and we can accommodate and getting you set up back there for free with electrical and water hookups and you can get some time in your RV to test everything out before you take it home. So another huge thing we have to offer here. You have the grab handle right as you come in and then you do have the screen door here on the screen. It does have this screenshot so it will close on its own and then pop back open. And then when we come inside, I don't have any lights turned on so we're gonna flip these on real quick. Look at how stunning this design looks. I absolutely love it. I think it looks so good in here. Turn on some of these lights as well. Some of these are gonna be puck lights. Some of them will have light switches. We are working with limited power from the solar panel. So sometimes you start turning on too many things and lights start to flicker and whatnot. But look at the design of this thing. It is such a change from what 2021 travel trailers looked like and I absolutely love it. I know everybody's gonna have their own opinions of it and I'd love to hear what you think down below in the comments. So let me know what you think of this interior design in here. Like I said, I absolutely love it. It is by far my new favorite color scheme and color palette in RV interior design and I'm absolutely here for it. I think it looks so cool. Outback is coming with two different color options as far as sofas go. Can't remember the exact names off the top of my head. I'm going to post them on the screen here, but I know this one here is the kind of vintagey brown leather look, which I think looks really good with the color palette in here. And then the other one is going to be a gray cloth material that also looks very good in here. I literally would love either one. I think I personally prefer the gray cloth just a tad bit more, but that's just my own personal preference. They both look really good in here though, and it is just a fabulous design I think they put together, the Outback team, with how they did the color palette in here. And it's so unique and so different from pretty much every other brand out there. I know our Springdale brand does something close to this, but Outback does it better. And so I really, really, really like it. Now, as we start looking around, let's look at the different things in here. Obviously, you can see with the floor plan, we get an island kitchen. 
Something really unique that Outback does with this 328RL is a dual refrigerator. So you're actually going to have two 12 volt refrigerators that are going to double your amount of space there. So you'll have two of the same size refrigerators. It's kind of neat, they both open up in opposite directions. So you can get easy access to those and it just kind of feels natural that way. Like that they're black as well, instead of like a stainless steel goes well as with the aesthetic and everything like that. Then you're gonna have your little coffee bar area over here. Black cabinets with the gold handles. You'll be able to open these up. These are gonna be your different storage compartments in this Outback. Really deep storage compartments as well. These go back at least about a foot. They might be closer to like 14 inches or so, but at least a foot for sure. And then interesting placement of the microwave as well. You have it more at a manageable height. It's not too high or too low, right in the middle of the RV. So it's at a nice spot where it's really easy to get to. And then Outback gives you a microwave that does not have a turntable. So they use this diamond technology here. Um, I've done some research on this, really trying to figure it out. So the diamond wave technology, basically, the microwave, um, the microwaves, like the actual waves themselves, reflect off of those diamonds there in a particular way, which allow you to not need a turntable and it cooks very evenly and it allows you without the turntable to fit squared off dishes in there and not have to worry about that. So really nice microwave that they use in there and you have a nice paper towel rack underneath here as well. That's a nice little touch that Outback does in a lot of their models. Underneath the coffee bar area, you'll have a nice size drawer here. Then you're gonna have some storage underneath here as well with your fuse and breaker box underneath here, nice and hidden and out of the way. As you look at the outlet here, you'll notice that it's an inverted outlet. So if you wanted to get an inverter on here and expand upon the solar capabilities, you can start to get power from solar to these outlets, but you will need an inverter, which is not currently on here. Looking at this countertop right now too, I wanna to point out the details if you can see them. There's like a slight sparkle in them that looks really, really nice. And these are solid stone countertops. So it's a solid countertop that you're getting there as well. Same thing in the island, you'll have that nice sparkle in the countertop that looks really, really nice. Luckily iPhone does a pretty good job of picking that up. Looking at your seating arrangement, you're gonna have the booth-shaped dinette here with a legless dinette. I believe they call this a dream dinette underneath here. So basically you have this latch right here that goes out of the way so you can move this up and down. And then this will just go, it's on a strut system and it'll go down, sit on these parts right here when you wanna make it into a bed. And then underneath here for your storage, these are going to be Velcroed to the back so they stay in place. And these will flip up and you'll have Storage underneath there, these are all backed with a solid material as well. So it's a nice upgraded, more quality feeling in the construction of your booth dinette there. And behind here you have USB ports so you can charge up your phones and different devices. You have a light switch up here that will control the LED lights underneath the booth dinette that look really nice as well. I like that they have a warmer tone to them. It just fits the aesthetic of this color palette really well so they thought those things out because most times with the led lights you usually see a bright white color and they really thought that through and put a warmer tone that i think looks really nice underneath the slide out here i want to point out that your flooring underneath here is completely wrapped so all your sub flooring there is not exposed and it is wrapped so you have that added layer of protection to your sub floor so you'll see that there Interesting thing about Outback is I believe they're one of the only Keystone lines where you have the heat ducting coming out of the cabinets. So you don't have any floor vents or anything like that, which is pretty interesting. That's something that we don't typically see in Keystone products, but you can see you have another heat vent right here as well. So that eliminates any floor vents that you would have in here for the heating that you won't have to worry about things falling in and stuff like that. You'll have another one in the island spot right here as well. So interesting aspect to this Outback that you don't typically see in a Keystone product. You have the Thomas Payne furniture. So it's gonna be that upgraded. These are the wider style recliners. So wider than what you typically see in a travel trailer. They're gonna have the arm pull for the um, recline function of it. And then these should lay all the way back flat. Yeah, so you can see how flat that recliner will get. Super, super comfortable. I mean, this, particular style of Thomas Paine recliner is 
probably one of their most comfortable ones that they offer just with how wide they are um the size of armrests that you get everything like that and so very very comfortable lay all the way back you have this nice storage compartment there your cup holders and again you have outlets next to this area as well back here this is going to be a pull out sofa it's a thomas Paine collection as well so this will pull out to a full size to a queen size bed it's a trifold sofa so really easy to pull in and out then you're going to have storage compartments underneath here these are just all the way through unobstructed really big storage compartments nice countertop space or tabletop space that you have here next to both sides of the sofa and storage all the way through up above these pretty much completely unobstructed up here stay up on their own and have all that storage space there to access as well with all of your windows you're going to have pull down blackout shades so you'll be able to block out that sun that'll be on every one of your windows in here and then as we're looking at windows just want to point out all the natural light that comes in here from all these big windows along this back side and then you have windows all the way around your entire campsite of this rv so we'll be able to have amazing views there plus you even have a window that's closed up here right now behind the stove top i usually like to open these up just to let a little bit more light in you have another window right there letting in even even more natural light plus you have the skylight letting in additional light here this is kind of a frosted skylight so it's not completely clear and that's letting in more natural light if you want to close that off you do have that right there to block off some of that light if that's what you're preferring but definitely able to get more natural light in here than just about any other travel trailer on our lot with all the different windows and the skylight looking up at here too just want to point out how nice this looks i mean the woodwork finishing here how the, just the color of it and then the led lighting looks really really good i think just the color design changes alone in this outback brings so much value to me i really value the way things look and the aesthetic of things so i'm just so thrilled to see this color design change i, <laughs> I know i keep talking about it a lot but I, I really really do enjoy it looking at some of your other features you're going to have the bigger 50 inch screen tv and then you have the large fireplace that will have four different colors on it it's going to put out heat so that'll basically work like a space heater it's going to heat up pretty much this whole entire living area here if it's not too cold outside. You know, if you're in that 50 degree, 50 to 60 degree range, you should have plenty of heat in here from this fireplace alone to take the chill out the air and be just fine. But it's a 4,777 BTU space heater, essentially. And you have all your sound controls here. You're gonna have storage spaces underneath here where you can hook different devices up or whatever you may need for the TV. And then the TV will pull out as well, so pull that out and you can see the room that you have behind here you can angle it towards the kitchen you'll have hookups back there ports um, that go down into the storage compartment so that you can run cables and you can see it from the dinette table just fine I guess the island would be a little bit in the way but you can see it from the kitchen and the island with it rotated like that so I'll push that back in real quick You have a fan here too as well right above the kitchen or a vent sorry not a fan there's no fan on it but you do have a vent there so you can open that up get some airflow from the kitchen this window behind the kitchen does open up as well so you can get more airflow from that you're gonna have a three burner furion cooktop so you'll see this open up where you can use that glass for additional countertop space but that will open up when you're ready to cook on it these things light up so they look nice they turn red when you have one on and then you'll have your standard style rv oven and a nice deep storage compartment underneath here for pots and pans and then this i'm guessing is going to be a spice rack yep so you have a spice rack underneath here nice ball bearings in the slide mechanisms here so they slide nice and easy and you'll have a spice rack there. It can put cans there, whatever your heart desires. Plus it's magnet latch, so it holds it in place there. Another light up here I didn't even see, so you get more lighting. And you have an outlet up here as well, which is nicely placed. So you do have an outlet in this area because I wanted to make sure of that. And let's see, looking for other outlets in the kitchen. Another one here on the island, so you can plug things up there. 
And then that'll be, looks like that. In addition to this will be all your outlets in, in the kitchen area there. Um, you have a fan here that will vent air out of the trailer. So if you have this fan turned on, that is taking air outside of the trailer and getting rid of all those smells. And then here we have our pricing. You can see with all the additional options on here, this does have the second AC unit on it. The MSRP is 71,536 here in Dallas, Texas. So if you're interested in this, um, my number has been up on the screen. You can call, text, or email me. My information is also down in the description below and I can get you our actual Holiday World sales price and what we can sell you this thing for and what it would take to make this thing yours. So contact me there if you're interested or if you're interested in any other RVs that I could help you out with. Okay, really nice lighting. I haven't really pointed these out, but nice lighting there that looks more unique than or different than anything else I've seen in any of the other travel trailers. It doesn't really look quite like anything I've seen in any of our fifth wheels or travel trailers as far as the lights that hang down over the island here. You have the AC system here. Again, this is the Coleman Mach that's 12 decibels quieter than a standard AC system. So pretty much just as quiet as a whisper quiet AC system. And then you're going to have your duct lining running all the way down the trailer here. So you can close these off if you want. You see how that close right there. It'll send all your air running through the duct system. And it's going to be ducted together with the AC in the bedroom. One other thing I wanted to point out because I just noticed it. You have surround sound in here. So you're, this is a speaker here and you have a speaker there. So instead of just your standard speakers here shooting out at you, you actually have surround sound in here and have a more filled space of sound in this Outback as well than you do in a standard travel trailer. Last thing to look at in the kitchen before we move on, you have your storage all through the island here. So you're gonna have your trash can compartment underneath there. You can take that out and put that somewhere else as well if you wanna use that for different storage. You'll have two smaller drawers that open up here. These drawers are so smooth too. It's amazing how smooth these feel. I'm definitely used to drawers not always feeling as smooth as these ones do pulling in and out. So you'll have all that storage there. And that is everything in this living area. So I'll give you one last look and then we'll move on. I'm gonna turn off some of these lights so we can make sure we're not losing power that we'll need to power on the lights as we go into the bathroom and the bedroom. There is a battery disconnect up front as well. So if you're wanting to kill all your power to everything running off the battery without having to go through and turn everything off individually, you can do that up front on your RV. So this is what it looks like. Let me open up the skylight as well. So this is just strictly natural lighting coming in here. And we're not even on the sunny side of the RV. The sun is shining in from this direction over here. So all your natural light is still bleeding into here, even with the sun being on the opposite side of all your windows. So it looks really good. Coming into here, you're gonna have a hallway light that you can turn on. You have a coat rack right here as you walk in. The doors look really, really nice. I love the way these doors look. Big fan of that. All your controls here, because you have the tankless water heater, this is going to be your water heater controls right here. Whenever you see this style unit, that is a clear indication that you're dealing with a tankless water heater. AC controls, and you do have 12 volt heat pads on all of your water tanks. So each one of your water tanks will have a 12 volt heat pad on them to keep them from freezing if you're transporting it with water in the tanks, or if you're away from your site and you don't have the furnace on, you can flip those on to make sure your water tanks don't freeze. That is another thing that's gonna just put this in a more premium, you know, travel trailer line, having those um, fresh water, gray water, and black water heating pad tanks, or tanks, What's the way to, that I'm trying to say it? Having heat pads on the tanks. That's not something you see on most travel trailers. So with your bathroom, it is going to be a dual entrance bathroom. You're gonna have a porcelain toilet. It is a Dometic porcelain residential style toilet. So if you wanted to replace this toilet seat on there, you can go to Home Depot or Lowe's and any residential style toilet seat will fit on there. You have a corner shower with the clear doors and all black appliances lots of storage so all these storage shelves that go up pretty much to the ceiling there i didn't point out as well that there is a barreled ceiling in this outback so you have an improved ceiling height as well definitely makes a big difference for someone like me that is 6'2 and having all the proper height that i need throughout the rv but you can see barreled ceiling so you get that added ceiling height 
in the shower you're going to have the skylight as well to improve upon the ceiling height so you really could be about six 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 seven and still fit in the shower with that skylight there and you'll have storage underneath your sink area here this here is going to be a plastic sink and nice black appliances medicine cabinet and again you have another inverted outlet right here as well if you wanted to put the inverter on there so that is everything in the bathroom you have a nice hook and you have ac ducting coming into here you have the fan right here as well and you have your door into the bedroom where you're going to have a king size bed and we're actually going to walk in through the other door so i can turn the light on into the bedroom flip the light on here and you're going to have a king size bed there will be additional lights up underneath there as well for each individual king size bed in a slide out gives you all this floor space you're going to have a ton of countertop space here or tabletop space whatever you would call that dresser top space i don't know exactly but you know what i mean place for a tv here you can fit a larger size tv than a lot of travel trailers not like the biggest tv ever but you could also put one on this nightstand area here or dresser top whatever it is and put a bigger tv there if you wanted to put a big size tv in this area so you will have that you can see you have the dual ducting in the bedroom so you have four ac vents in here in addition to the vents you can open up on the ac unit itself so lots of airflow in the bedroom and this will be ducted together with the living room ac as well your storage underneath the bed this will be strut assisted and lift up there so you'll have two different um areas here this could easily be taken out to open this whole area up. but you actually you actually have a pet kennel underneath here so this can open up and you can put your pet bed in there your pet toys and that can be a kennel space for your pets that they can use as well that outback puts in a lot of their different travel trailers this is in nearly all of them might be in every one of them actually so you'll have that space there as well that is pretty dang cool strut assisted so it stays up on its own put that down you're going to have again your blackout shades on each window here but the you do have windows on each side of the bed you're going to have lights for each individual on the bed as well and then you'll have storage space unobstructed all the way through along the top again just the design details i love this design that they went with back here looks really cool really nice very modern and artistic big fan of it and then you're going to have your storage compartment here this is interesting because this looks like this actually opens up i'm not sure exactly you can see that it's kind of framed out here so i'm not exactly sure what this will go to but that looks like it's probably access to something for more service related that you will have there because um, i know there's something like a water tank or something underneath there so that might be uh something with the washer dryer that they just may need to have access to but you have a pretty much full wall-to-wall -wall wardrobe when you add the closet space next to me here this will close up and give you a nice mirror all the way across this wall get that to actually latch close like that there you go so big mirror there and then you can open up this area this is where your washer dryer hookups will be and if you don't want the washer dryer so much storage space in there but you can fit i believe this is just going to be space for a combo washer dryer unit that you can get in here you'll have the hookups for that if you want to do that if not lots of storage space looking at the outlets around here let's check real quick you're going to have an outlet and usb port on this side so you'll have space there for that. You have tiny little areas over here to store some things like your phone and whatnot as well. On this side, you have an outlet here and an outlet there. And it looks like that's it. Yeah, so those two outlets there, I say that's it, like that's not a lot. And you have a motion activated nightlight right there. So when you reach your hand down, it'll light that up so you can actually see the outlet and get that plugged in. So like that little touch as well. Um, even this window here has a blackout shade as well. Just want to check and make sure. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. Such a good looking travel trailer. If I just had an unlimited budget and could buy something as big as I wanted in a travel trailer, this would be high up on my consideration for what I would want. It is so premium, so quality, and just feels luxurious, modern, and I don't know what the exact name of this decor would be but it's modern but still 
it's like modern and edgy i don't know exactly but i absolutely love it i think it's so cool this travel trailer in general is so cool and is a great one to come take a look at right now all right y'all that's all i got if you have questions about this particular rv or another rv my number will be up here on the screen at the end of the video and in the description down below you can call or text me there i prefer text if you can if you do text me it's nice if you let me know your name where you're located and what you're looking at so i can have an idea of what i can do to help you out and then we do have the rv shows coming up um the fort worth dallas and houston shows are all coming up at the start of the year so I will be at those and I'm really looking forward to meeting you people that are waiting in the, until that time. Don't wait until that time if you're just looking for the best deal possible because there are so many different 2021 and even 2022 units that are available that will be less expensive now than the ones that will be available at the show. So don't feel like you have to wait till the show, but if you are waiting till the show or plan to come, I will be there and I'm looking forward to meeting y'all. So I'll have stuff coming up here in the near future to set appointments for people that want to have me assist you at these shows if you do plan on coming. And that's pretty much all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.